Um, you're going to use a lot of rags when you paint. I buy these things by the, by the dozen. And you want to clean your tools with the rags. Get this uh, palette knife fairly clean. There's a little ghost of red on there. That's quite all right. But you don't want clumps uh, because then you'll just end up with clumps in your uh, next painting. And the mug, I gave it a good throw swipe with the rag here. So uh, there's just a ghost of uh, turpentine in there. Even these um, planks that we were using, you want to use them again. So give it a good pass with a rag. Just uh, get the paint off down to the wood. It's still stained, but it can be used again. And it won't leave anything on the next painting. And um, these clumps of paint aren't just a matter of taste because they affect the painting structure. You have all this um, junk in the painting and um, you know paint dries as a film like we discussed and anything that's stuck in there will interfere with that and it'll just create a weak spot. So I avoid them whenever possible because they don't do anything for the structural integrity of the painting. Uh, and you want your tools to be clean of course so you can use them next time enough to go buy new ones.